Away from Galamse, the anger of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association has been pacified after the Ashanti Regional National Service Secretariat boss was handed punishment for verbally abusing a nurse at the Menshia Government Hospital in November 2022. A committee of inquiry set up by the Secretariat handed Mr. Alex Okoku Mensah a two-month suspension without pay after investigating the matter. So Okoku Mensah has also been demoted to work under supervision at the head office and to offer an official apology to the scheme for his actions. These recommendations have been welcomed by the Registered Nurses and Midwifery Association who earlier demanded that he be sacked. We'll hear from them shortly. First, let's speak to Director of Corporate Affairs at the National Service Secretariat, Armstrong Esa, on the recommendations. I'm grateful for your time, Mr. Esa. Has Mr. Alex Opoku Mensa acknowledged these sanctions and has he acted upon them? Yes, uh, thank you, Aisha, for giving me your audience. Um, Mr. Alan Zopukumensa has complied with all the directives, all the sanctions that have been meted out to him. And uh, he, he's acknowledged all of them. He has complied with all of them, including um, the offer of apology letter to the National Service Team, and he has begun his uh, suspension already. And so he has complied with all the directives. Mm. and the recommendations of the committee. So, so the approach. apology, in which format is it supposed to uh, come? I mean... Yes, you know, when, when the incident happened, he leveraged his power uh, as the Ashanti Regional Director for the National Service Team and threatened the net. And so the committee saw it as a clear case of abuse of power. And that has actually brought the name of the National Service Team into disrepute. And so we have asked him to apologize to the team and also to also offer um, a clear statement that that would not happen again. And so he's done that. If you look closely at our code of conduct, it prohibits every single member of staff members of the National Service Team to engage in fighting, insults, unpleasant language, either on our compound or outside the compound. So anybody involved in that, um, you know, commit, commit, um, put the organization into a state of disrepute. And that is exactly what he's asking to do. And so he's apologized to that manager has accepted the apology that is written. And even before he wrote this officially to us, you remember he wrote on his Facebook and honestly apologized to the entire pop. He apologized to the nurses and the midwives. He apologized to the National Service Team and he regretted the excesses and what happened at the team. So management has accepted his apology. Mm. So he's supposed to work under supervision when he, after the suspension. What role will he be playing at the head office then? Yes, that is going to be determined by management. And so what I can say for sure is that he's going to work under a couple of heads of departments. And because he's coming to the head office, he's not coming there as a director, but he's coming there to work under some heads of departments for purposes of learning and also for the management to be certain that the tendencies to, um, you know, get out there with the speeches and comments uh, will not be, will be a sign of the past. And so management would have signed in role. Um, in fact, it's already been discussed that I do not have the clearance to speak to those matters, but management has decided exactly what he's going to do at the head office. He's going to work under certain head of department, from one department or to the other. And that's exactly what he's going to do when it comes to the head office. So, of course, in terms of relationship, we know that uh, that relationship between the secretariat and uh, uh, nurses have been mad. What measures are you putting in place to ensure that uh, this relationship is resolved? Yes, my executive director, in fact, has had a lot of meetings with the leadership. And uh, I think, first of all, it's quite important for me to um, appreciate the cooperation we have received from the 
registered nurses and midwife association, and also to thank them on behalf of the National Service Team for the cooperation and the support they've given us. Yes, uh, initially um, they had a very safe uh, position on this matter, but after we go through the due process, I'm happy the position they have taken up, and we appreciate that so much. If you look carefully at the position of the committee, you will notice that we had reps from Ministry of Health, which obviously represents their interest. We had reps from Ministry of Education, the Labor Commission, and National Service Team. So after all this engagement, uh, I am very much aware that man headed by Honorable Third today entry have had a series of meetings with the leadership of the registered nurses and midwife association to see to it that that would not happen. Because um, we would continue until the law is changed. We will continue to deploy nurses for national service. In that case, they call it orientation. We will continue to work with them. We will continue to uh, do a lot of government works with them. And so we are so happy that as we speak, the meetings that have been held with them have been so successful, and we appreciate the cooperation that they've given us. Mr. Armstrong, yes, I'm grateful for your time. He's Director of Corporate Affairs as a National Service Secretariat, well president of the uh, Midwives, uh, Asso Registered Nurses and Midwifery Association, Perpetual, um, has indicated that they are happy with the sanctions method on the uh, NSS uh, director in the Ashanti region and hopes he will learn uh, from his mistakes. We'll bring you her sound later. Meanwhile.